The new WordPress editor, and we've done a talk on this, I think I did one a few months ago on this, which is up on the editors.sg, ah, engineers.sg site, but um, actually it might be easier if I just mirror this, so I'm not looking at that screen. Right, so this, if you just go to wordpress.org forward slash Gutenberg or you Google uh, WordPress Gutenberg demo, this is essentially a public version of the editor as it kind of sits, so you don't have to necessarily install it on your site. You can go have a look and play around with this and, and kind of see the, the live version. So this is the editor that's coming to WordPress in 5.0, which is probably looking at around December at this stage. Um, and if you've seen probably recently on your WordPress site with the 4.9.8 update, there's a big banner that comes in and says, you know, would you like to try Gutenberg or would you like to keep the classic editor? And so this is essentially what happens uh, once you install it. A brief overview is that everything's now going to be broken down into blocks. So this is essentially a header block. Um, so you can change this. Hi. And then you have here just a normal paragraph text block, which you can change the, the layout of. You can, you know, move the direction of that up or down. Um, so things are now broken into those blocks. So we have a header block here, or a title block essentially in this area. And if I then wanted to add, let's say, a header block or change the image block, um, I can do that there. Or I can create a new block over on this side. And let's say I want to bring through a quote. Um, oops. So that's a little quote section. And then, you know, you can make that bold or do any of your sort of editing that way as well. Um, going back up to the top, this is an image section. Oops. An image block, and then there's left, right, a line, or a full width image, which is new, so you can break out of your, so your website might be 12,000 pixels wide, and you can break that image out into full width, which wasn't working the last time um, we did a demo. Or you can go back and that just centers the image within your, your content area. So it just makes kind of publishing a lot easier um, if you're publishing, you know, nice, uh, nice full width images and things. Or you can break it out a little bit further. Uh, it doesn't go the full width. Um, you can do wide width as well. Or you can sort of change the block type. If you want a whole gallery in there, you could bring out and, and pick in additional images and that will create a gallery directly for you. So if we switch that back to that demo version, you can then on the on that side, sorry, you can move things up and down. So I move the quote up. I can then move that down again and drag and drop things that way. I think on this side over here, there's a settings window. So if I was looking at the quote section, there's a couple of advanced um, items there. So let's, for example, if I had a class called blue, I could add that in and then the CSS would allow me to change that background to blue and the text to white, something like that. Um, makes it a lot easier. There's some other om images here, uh, sorry, options here, which are for the, the con complete document, which is the page. You can set the featured image, you can set the excerpt, and you can turn on comments um, on or off as well. So if we then look back on the image itself, I can write the caption for that image here. I could link it to a media file, an attachment page, um, and you can change some advanced things here by applying a CSS class as well to that gallery. If it was an image itself, I'd be able to link that specifically to a URL, but since we changed it to a gallery block, um, it doesn't give me that, that option anymore. As you scroll down, you see there's some basic um, 
options here. So this is a gallery. We have four GIFs and then we have some titles, uh, captions under those sections as well. So you can change your crop, uh, you can change your columns. So it just gives the WordPress experience um, a bit more control rather than just dealing with a normal HTML editor which doesn't really provide you that much of an experience. There's some button styles, some other paragraph styles, um, some spacing styles. So as you can see up on, in this corner here, so gallery, quote, paragraph, some audio, a cover images, you can bring in files. Um, there's some common blocks, you know, which is what we're looking at before, subheaders, videos, some formatting things if you wanted to bring in some code or you had some custom HTML. There's a table module, but I think at the moment, last time we tested it, it was only a 4x4, four four, a 2x2 two two table. So you can do another one. It's not that advanced yet, um, but that stuff will come with more time and more development. There's some columns, so that's in beta as well. Um, page break spaces, you know, and you can kind of play around with this or you can bring in widgets and, and other things that you've installed. So if you wanted to bring through your latest posts, obviously there's no posts on this one, so nothing will be shown. Um, or if you had any embeds, so this is kind of new. It's a lot easier just to grab Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. You don't have to necessarily go and grab their embed code. It's using O embed, so all you'd need to do is grab your Instagram URL, um, pop that in there, and it will embed that directly uh, into your site. So it's a lot easier to share that type of information um, across your site. And there's, you know, there's quite a few there. The strength, I guess, in coming time around this is developing custom blocks, and you'll see that there'll be plugins developed that will extend this further um, to make it a lot more usable for you. But at the moment, it's kind of just main, mainly been used for posts. I'm not sure if it's default on pages as well. Um, but you can change those settings around. And then if you have custom post types for books, music or whatever, you can. there's a little bit of code that you can use uh, to bring that through as well. So if you have a look here at that wordpress.org for slash Gutenberg, you can um, check that out. Or if you go into your site, you can go through and install that directly um, and play around with it. It's, it's at a stage now that it's stable enough to be used. Um, there's still more development coming, um, but you know, it's coming thick and fast. So if you're looking at kind of playing this space a lot further, then it's something to invest a little bit of time into because uh, it's definitely coming. And it'll make a lot of changes and a lot of this kind of content editing experience a lot better on WordPress, especially once they kind of nail a few of the, the, the bigger bugs. It has integrations with things like Yoast SEO uh, and things like that instead of kind of, you know, the normal WordPress page will give you an editing window then a whole bunch of gray space at the bottom. Uh, your SEO plugins and things like that will just come out as a block that will be displayed at the bottom of the page. The same with custom fields and things like that. So uh, it just gives you a lot more control. Um, I'm nowhere an expert, but I'll take some questions if anyone has any. Otherwise, we're all good. All right, thanks guys, we'll mingle around for a bit.